In this video, I'm going to explain how we can improve VAR and how technology will continue to change the way we referee football. Because there's certainly been no shortage of recent controversies. It's an absolute disgrace. This is nowhere near the level to describe this as the best league in the world. I am sorry. 2D line on the VAR. Oh, I'll stop. Check up, Blake. He's played. He's yeah. gone off. So the outcome should be a replay. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. The video assistant referee, also known as VAR, was introduced to the Premier League four years ago and it has helped overturn lots of obvious refereeing mistakes. I'm certainly not in favour of scrapping VAR as it would be crazy to go back to relying on on-field decisions. But for me, there are four key issues that need addressing. Number one incorrect decisions. You've got the Liverpool offside against Spurs. You've got the Newcastle goal against Arsenal that could have been ruled out for four different things. I feel sick to be part of this. Number two, VAR slows down the game so much. In the Spurs-Chelsea game, the first half lasted 56 minutes, but the ball was only in play for 23 because of lengthy VAR checks. I felt like I was standing around waiting for VAR intervention. So many pauses in the games now, and it takes so long for the referees to go to the monitor. Thirdly, there's a lack of transparency. Fans in the stadium have absolutely no idea what's going on. Fans on the TV a little bit more, but they're still not given access to VAR's reason behind their decisions. And lastly, the one that hits home the most for me, VAR takes away from the pure joy of celebrating a goal because you just have no idea if it's going to get overturned. So how do we fix these issues? It's not going to be easy and it'll be especially difficult to ensure that decisions are made correctly while not slowing the game down. But if we continue to embrace technology while improving refereeing standards, it can be done. The first thing that the Premier League has to do is implement the semi-automated offside technology that we all saw in the World Cup and the Champions League. Checking offsides is one of the most frequent uses of VAR and the current line drawing system takes so long and isn't always accurate. The semi-automated system only requires 12 tracking cameras and a ball sensor, which are processed by artificial intelligence and communicated to the referees. This would dramatically speed up VAR and create 100% accuracy with all offsides. But the Premier League are worried it'll be too expensive and will soon become outdated. But I think if they want to continue to be the best league in the world, they need to embrace new AI technology as it improves and gets better. As the number of cameras collecting data on football continues to increase, it won't be long before computer vision trains models that can make more accurate and quicker refereeing decisions. Aldo Comi, the CEO of Soccerment, a football data analytics company, thinks that within 20 or 30 years, referees will be fully replaced with AI. This has the potential of creating accurate refereeing decisions within milliseconds. This would solve the majority of the major issues. And the Premier League must ensure it doesn't lag behind on testing and then implementing these new technologies. Another huge issue that needs addressing is that the current success of VAR is heavily reliant on the quality of its implementation. And the current standards of refereeing in the Premier League are just not high enough. The PGMOL, who are the body responsible for overseeing match officials needs a serious overhaul. Firstly, if we want standards to improve, we have to increase funding and pay for referees. Currently, the top referees get around 40 to 50,000 pounds a year, which is literally the same as Casemiro gets paid in a day. There's certainly no shortage of money in the Premier League and more needs to be given to refs to attract the best talent and therefore reduce incorrect decisions. Also don't get why we don't hire foreign refs. We should be trying to attract the best talent from across the world to the Premier League. And look at this map from all the referees in the Premier League. They're all from Liverpool and Manchester. There's not even a single ref from London, let alone outside England. Just like the Premier League clubs in the 90s, if we want to be the best, we have to look abroad and attract the best talent, regardless of where they're from. The last issue I have with the current referees are the work that they do during the week in Saudi Arabia, which I just think is such a conflict of interest. For example, Andy Madley and Stuart Butt, who are on VAR for the Newcastle Arsenal game, also take officiating jobs in the Saudi League, which is owned by Saudi PIF, which also owns Newcastle. I'm not saying there's any sort of bribery, but maybe they feel like if they make a decision against Newcastle, they won't be called up for another multi-million pound contract. How would the Newcastle fans feel if the referee was working for the owner of Arsenal, Stan Kroenke, during the week and then refing the game on the weekend? I personally think we shouldn't allow refs to work for the owners of clubs to ensure there are no doubts over the integrity of the referees. When it comes to the lack of transparency, VAR firstly has to look at informing the fans better in the stadium as to what's going down 
and then for the TV audiences, allowing them access to the VAR broadcast. If not right away, then at least at half time or at the end of the game. But it might make for bad viewing when they're talking all over each other, like in the Liverpool game. That's frame, fine. Frame two there. Perfect. I've got yeah. the time on this. Like 2D line alone. Yeah. Yeah. Only saying to delay. Only oh, saying to delay. You could also look at increasing transparency by introducing interviews with the referees after the games, maybe a referee cam, maybe even a camera in the VAR hub. The last issue with VAR, that's one of the hardest to fix, is the joy that it takes away when you score a goal because you just have no idea if VAR is going to overturn it. For example, in the Spurs-Chelsea game, there were five goals that were overturned by VAR. Once you've had the emotion of five goals for it to then be overturned a couple minutes later, it just takes away that pure joy that you get when, when you score a goal. I think the best ways to fix this would be firstly to make it very clear to both fans in the stadium and on TV if VAR is reviewing a goal as quickly as possible. So the fans know if they don't see VAR check within 5 to 10 seconds, they know that it's going to be a goal. And then in the long run, you need to implement better technology that's able to review and give much quicker decisions. Lastly, to finish off the video, I'm going to give a couple quick fire things that I think could be done to improve VAR. Firstly, there should be more cameras throughout the stadiums to allow VAR to look from all different angles and always make the, the most accurate decision. I think they could also look at introducing a time limit of something like two minutes. So if they can't find an error within that time, then it's obviously not clear and obvious. Also, it's not often I agree with Sean Dyche, but I think they should just scrap the pitch side monitors. I don't know about you, but I'm getting bored of all this running over to the TV. Because we all know what's going to happen, don't we? I don't know what the strike rate is, but it's probably like 99% chance that the referee is going to give whatever he's been told in his ears. So I'm like, I can't really see that. They're talking about speed in the game. Why not just get on with it? And if they don't scrap it, at least don't allow them to play stills on the monitor and make a yellow card challenge look like a red. I also feel like they should look at reviewing second yellow cards. They should also consider first yellow cards if it's diving or something that the referee clearly couldn't see. To answer the title of the video, although there are lots of issues with VAR and the officiating in the Premier League at the moment, I do feel like the future is bright, as long as we continue to embrace new technologies that help make more accurate decisions and preserve the excitement of the beautiful game. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I put lots of effort into it and uh, I've been a football fan my whole life. And, um, you know, thank you for watching all the way into the end if you made it here. If you have, man, please give me a subscribe. Leave a comment about what you think about VAR um, down below and hopefully tune in for more episodes.